Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Giddily 16.5 planning. Uh, this is our kickoff for the October 2023 release of GitLab. Uh, we just want to note here for capacity, we do have a few more individual onboarding, which we're very excited about. Uh, during this time frame, that may cause our running capacity to decrease slightly as we're goal, our goal is to ensure that the new team members have an optimal onboarding experience, which may take away from our overall capacity a slight bit while they ramp up. Overall, our objectives and themes remain mostly the same as our previous release. We're still in the process of implementing write-ahead logging in Giddily. Uh, this is really crucial for our goal of migrating to a decentralized architecture for Giddily cluster. It's also critical in supporting many other key initiatives around GitLab, such as disaster recovery and backups for that matter. Uh, this is proceeding very well. There's a lot of information in the issue here. We do try to maintain an updated status. And as you can see, a lot has, a lot has been completed, indicated by these completed icons. There's also still a lot to be done, and we're taking on more work every release as we work toward this long-term goal. Uh, the other thing we're currently working on is supporting Giddily Cluster load base escalations. We've had a few incidents where Giddily Cluster under heavy load uh, can be sometimes problematic. We are looking to better understand what these situations are, how to characterize those situations, and how to better mitigate them. Uh, we've actually had some very good luck in this area. We're continually improving performance. Uh, in both our Git and our Giddily uh, applications. And for that, we're seeing some positive results that we're still currently in the midst of ensuring that we have supported our customers in the best way possible. The other effort that's ongoing is continued support of the SHA-256 repository. I'm pleased to announce that Giddily is fully completed in this sense, though we do have some effort to allow our GitLab Rails application to fully take advantage of this. That work is ongoing across multiple teams, and we are keeping on top of that as best we can while doing other work as well. Finally, we have the monorepo guide. Uh, many of our customers utilize large monorepos that were perhaps put in place before they migrated to GitLab or as a result of other external influences creating the need for these large repositories. Large repos are notoriously problematic using Git. Once they hit a certain size, the performance becomes an issue for many customers. As such, the Giddly team has been developing this documentation page around managing monorepos, their impact on performance, how to profile repositories, uh, how to optimize large repositories for use on GitLab, uh, and how to sort of uh, store some custom clone operations in your config files as well in order to speed up operations. Uh, we plan on expanding this out quite substantially as over the course of the next few releases. So we're very excited for that as I think this is a great resource for not only those using GitLab, but Git in general, how best to manage large repositories and some best practices that we kind of do internal to GitLab. Uh, it sort of helps understand what sets us apart in those areas and how we can best support these customers in this situation. Uh, finally, we are planning on doing some additional documentation. Again, we do try to keep on top of documentation. We don't like to carry a whole lot of technical debt so that's really, really important for us. The last thing I want to mention is we do have our stable counterpart in quality working on a test suite to uh, make preventative measures around memory leaks in Giddily. We had a couple instances around this and therefore we're prioritizing this effort. Uh, we're really excited for the results of this so we can better detect these prior to release. That's a very large part of our ongoing plans to ensure that we prioritize our customers in the best way possible. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on this video or come actually to the planning issue and comment here. We welcome collaboration with external people as well. We love to hear your thoughts and opinions and we love to hear what opportunities you may have to help us out along the way and provide us feedback. Thank you so much and have a great day.